I'm hungry. What's up, Jersey Jeff Eats foodies? Welcome to a Jersey Jeff Eats Second Helping Rewind. These Second Helping Rewind videos are where I show a food video from my other channel, the New York channel, that some of you older New York subscribers might have seen before, but many have not, and uh, most of the Jersey Jeff Eats subscribers haven't seen at all. All of these videos are, of course, food related in places that I have visited in the past. If you've seen it before, hopefully it's something you might want to watch over, but if not, that's cool. There'll be lots more original content on the Jersey Jeff Eats channel every week. All I'm doing is adding content to this brand new growing food channel and hopefully you'll enjoy it again or for the first time. Today's video is all about Cuba Libre at the Tropicana Hotel and Casino in Atlantic City. Lucy, I'm home! And tonight we are back in Atlantic City on the Atlantic City boardwalk side of town. And we're going to head over to the Tropicana to check out the Cuba Libre restaurant for dinner. I've been walking the boards all day and I'm kind of tired and very hungry. And I'm looking forward to this dinner. I think I'm going to have a cocktail or two, maybe an appetizer. And I'm thinking about ordering the rice and shrimp. Uh, from what I understand, it's very good here. Cuba Libre is located in the quarter area of the Tropicana here in Atlantic City, along with other restaurants like Broadway Burger Bar, Carmine's, uh, there's a P.F. Chang's here, a bunch of restaurants in the quarter, as well as throughout the entire hotel complex. There are so many restaurants to try here at the Tropicana, and I've did quite a few already, including Broadway Burger Bar, uh, Casa Taco and Tequila Bar. I did Gilcrest Diner for breakfast, known for their pancakes. But there's so many more I want to try, and Cuba Libre has been on my list for a while, as well as Chickie and Pete's, which uh, we just passed. Uh, they'll probably be next here, or next up. Uh, and just in case you were wondering, the buffet here, the um, Fiesta Buffet, is still closed, as well as the Seaside Cafe. And there's a brand new place called Pizzada here. It's in the uh, quarter, which is what we're going to pass in a little bit. Um, it's a place where you can design your own pizza, and uh, that's brand new, and I'm going to try that place out as well. But for now, we're heading towards that Cuba Libre. Hey guys, if you're enjoying the Jersey Jeff Eats channel, then why not subscribe to it if you haven't done so already? It's super easy, just click on that logo, that Jersey Jeff logo in the lower right hand corner, and you'll be subscribed. Poof, just like that. And if you're enjoying this video in particular, please give it a thumbs up. Very close to a thousand subscribers, that's a very important milestone for a YouTube channel, so uh, hopefully within the next couple of weeks we'll reach a thousand, and uh, that'll be fantastic. I'll be very, very happy. So if you're not subscribed, please do so right now.
Have you ever stayed at the Tropicana here in Atlantic City? Have you ever eaten at any of the restaurants here at the Tropicana? Leave a comment below. I'm sure we're all interested in hearing about your experience. In case you're wondering, it's an old Buick, and you can always tell Buicks because they have those vents or those, those holes on the fenders. That's a Buick trademark. One of many great photo opportunities here at the Tropicana. So Cuba Libre was actually pretty busy considering it's a weeknight in it's winter time here in Atlantic City. Recently one of you guys asked me why I don't do recordings on the weekends and the answer is pretty simple. Well there's a couple reasons. One, my real job, which I actually make money at, doesn't allow me to schedule uh, fun time, which is uh, my channel here, which I don't make any money at, or at least not that much money. Uh, so I schedule them during, you know, based upon my actual job schedule. Uh, secondly, a lot of times when I'm staying over, unless it's an MGM property, chances are I am not getting comped. So rooms are about half the price during the week as they are compared to the weekends. I got a table rather fast considering how busy the place is and I didn't have a reservation either and the first thing I'm going to do is check out that cocktail menu. The cocktail menu is pretty extensive here at Cuba Libre. I'm just going to show you guys the mojito page uh, and I'm going to order the classic mojito which is somewhere in the middle of this page. Uh, they list them actually from sweetest to tartest. The classic, what I'm ordering, is a Cuba Libre white rum with some pressed sugar cane, lime juice, mint, and a splash of soda. That's going to set me back $11.50, or I could get a pitcher for $57.50. I'm not that thirsty. The appetizer menu is also pretty extensive here. Everything from chips and dips and soups to octopus and garlic shrimp. And what I'm going to order is the Mama Amelia's Empanadas, which is the last thing on this page here. It's $15.50. There's a beef one and a chicken one with some dipping sauces. That sounds really good and I'm hungry. The appetizers and entrees are very true to the uh, Cuban theme here. They seem to be very authentic. Every, and the entrees are everything from chicken and rice to something called a visit to Havana. It's $21.50, basically a sandwich combo or a lunch combo. I'm here for dinner, but this looked really good. It's a pressed Cuban sandwich with sour orange marinated pork loin, Genoa salami, hand provolone, Swiss cheese, yellow mustard pickle relish, served with a side of black bean soup, house salad, and tropical chips. That sounded delicious, but I'm here for dinner, not for lunch, so maybe next time. My eyes went straight to the paellas, and I saw the one on the bottom, paella mixta, for $28. It's a traditional combination of shrimp, chicken, uh, Cortez chorizo, smoked ham, green peas, saffron rice, asparagus, and watercress salad. That sounded perfect for what I was in the mood for. That's what I ordered. Very shortly after I sat down, my drink in uh, bread and butter came out and uh, I, I was sitting pretty close to the bar and couldn't help notice they take their drinks very seriously here. Um, these things are crafted with care and my mojito, it was delicious. It was just the right amount of sweetness with some uh, seltzer water in there and lots of rum. It tasted fantastic. And that uh, bread is a toasted bread with lots of butter already in it. Uh, but they also give you a flavored butter. It tasted a lot like garlic, so I'm sure it was garlic butter. And uh, it was very warm, and everything between the cocktail and the bread was perfect for starting off a dinner here. The service here at Cuba Libre is very attentive. You never feel rushed, but they're always on top of things. And they asked me if I was ready for my appetizer while, while I was eating my bread and flavored butter, and I was, so... My uh, two empanadas came out. One was chicken, one was beef, but they're made very differently. The chicken one was more of a southwestern flair. The beef one was definitely Cuban with some pickled something or other in it. They were both delicious, had a dipping sauce. They were both deep fried. I really enjoyed these empanadas. Thank you.
So I finished my empanadas and went for a sip of my mojito and noticed a small hairline crack in the glass. I pointed it out to the waiter who quickly pointed it out to the host who quickly came to my table and couldn't apologize enough. He took my drink swiftly to the bartender and the hands were flailing behind the bar. How could this happen? Yada, yada, yada. He came back with another drink and again, they couldn't apologize enough. They wanted to know if, if everything was okay and, and I have a feeling they knew I was recording which might have influenced uh, the service I started getting at this point which was really good to begin with but now the service was incredibly good. And the truth is, just like I told the host, I just didn't want them to wash the glass, put it in the dishwasher, and serve it to another person. I wanted them to throw the glass out and get me a fresh drink, which they did. Soon my paella came out and it looked fantastic. It had the chorizo and the shrimp and the, the chicken and uh, lemons and it just looked fantastic. The saffron rice. Uh, my only beef was they put a, a cold salad on top, which it did say they were going to do on the menu, but I would much rather have this salad on the side. It kind of like just uh, didn't seem right to be dumped on top of a warm paella. I just didn't understand it. I mean, my salad was getting warm and my entree was getting cold. That didn't make much sense to me. However, again, I have to say that's just a small beef. Uh, this thing was really flavorful and I really, really enjoyed it. So my bill came to me at the end of the dinner in a Cuban cigar box, which I thought was extremely creative. The bill came to about 66 bucks and there was a manager comp of about 23 bucks because of that cracked glass, which I appreciate. So everything came to about $46. Uh, if you're doing the math, I'm probably off a little bit, but uh, it's still a fantastic deal for two mojitos, uh, two empanadas, and that wonderful, wonderful paella and fantastic service here. And I will definitely be back here at the Cuba Libre here at the Tropicana Hotel and Casino for that Cuban sandwich that sounded so good with the black bean soup, the salad, and maybe one or two more mojitos for lunch. Uh, definitely coming back here. I had a great time. Service was fantastic. Atmosphere fantastic. Music fantastic. I'll be back. And some good news, at least for me, this is the first video where Super Thanks is available on the Jersey Jeff Eats channel. Uh, we finally qualified for that, so that's cool. If you'd like to support the channel, then just click on that thanks button right underneath the video. I do appreciate your support. That makes me as happy as a shrimp in a fantastic paella.